Well, hi there, I'm Noah Bradley. This is Handmade House TV. And on this week's episode, we're gonna continue our series in the books that I recommend for you to read in order to build your own handmade house. So stay tuned. Well, all right, once again, thank you for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to have some insights with regard to being an owner builder of your future home. If you recall last week's episode, we focused on the design of your future home and how important it is for you to play a significant part in the design of your own home. I've designed 95% of the homes that I've ever built and they've turned out amazingly well and you can as well. In the Handmade House Academy, I teach you exactly how to do that. And by the way, uh, a disclaimer, and that is that books are great things to read for inspiration and for reference, but the result of, work, of building a home just from reading books is often extremely disappointing. Uh, but nonetheless, I highly recommend them. And what I'm gonna provide for you today is books with regard to being a homeowner builder. If I was contemplating building a home, I had never built a house before, and it was a new topic to me. What books would I recommend as far as uh, the idea of actually considering doing some of the work myself? And uh, so I've got a little stack of books here for you today. And by the way, if you want the entire list of everything that uh, all the books that I recommend, uh, please come over at handmadehouses.com and sign up for my newsletter and the first series of emails that you will receive from me contain the titles, the names and the authors of, of the books that I recommend. And so today let's get started. Uh, the first one is just sort of a generic book and you can get, you can get uh, there, there's probably a hundred good books on knowing your trees. On, on getting a book on Amazon, search, search on through all the books there. There's hundreds of books on trees, but trees are wonderful things. They are the, the key ingredient in our home, and it's important to, to, to be able to identify to know trees. We prefer, pre preferably, we'd like to work with, with trees that are native to our area. We want our homes to be of that particular species, and there is no ideal perfect wood. Every wood offers a variety of characteristics. And before we really design a home, we'd like to know what what species of wood we're going to choose to work with that that each one works well with with the that blends in with the environment we're working with as well as in the most attractive and visually appealing that we can find. Uh, what species of wood do we want for our cabinets and our floors? Uh, do we want to frame our house out of? And so the idea of actually getting to know your trees is an important first step in, in the construction of our home. Uh, another book that I recommend uh, is, and uh, there, there are almost none of these available um, out there and everything else. And as far as I know, this might be the only one on topic. It's called The, Green, uh, the Greenwood House. And it's written by Larry Michael Hackenberg. Uh, and it's an old book, uh, probably from the 1970s, I'd be willing to, I'd be willing to guess. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, 19, first published in 1976. Uh, it was a very popular year for the resurrection of, of people becoming involved and of building the handmade house style. Um, and uh, the green wood means a uh, wood that is not uh, kiln dried and seasoned, which is something that modern building inspections and codes really don't like you working with. Uh, they want they want you to buy wood that's out of a different country that's been sized and seasoned and officially stamped. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, in building a home, we, there's a lot of options to use locally gathered materials um, and work with green wood. But green wood, working with something that's fresh and was still wet, uh, is different than working with something with seasoned wood. And by, by exploring, by working with green wood, you'll learn a whole lot more about wood and what it has to offer and uh, you'll save yourself a lot of trouble. You cannot work with green wood like you can with, with dry wood because you have to count on the fact that it's gonna season. So that's a good, that's a good thing for you to do. Um, next up, I would recommend uh, is, is, is one of my heroes in life beside Henry David Thoreau, who we mentioned last week, uh, is, is Roy Underhill. And um, 
and uh, particularly the the Woodwright shop. If you ever get an opportunity to see uh, any of uh, Roy Underhill's uh, videos, uh, he did a series on PBS for many years, uh, particularly if you get his videos, and if you do a search online, you can find them, but from his first year or two, uh, he really did some dynamite uh, ex explanations of, of trees, of stone, of early craftsmanship and how to put together a home and how to basically how to walk in the woods and, and build your home using nothing but an axe and you can build the furniture for it as well while you're there. And uh, he's, a, he's a great entertainer, he's a great writer, you'll enjoy his books greatly. Uh, the only shortcoming to Roy Underhill is that he is a master of vintage ways of doing things, but he's not going to introduce you to the idea of, of creating a natural home using also implementing today's techniques, tools, and, uh, and, and materials that we have available today. So, but nonetheless, it's a, it's a great introductory uh, into getting into the process of building a handmade house. So the next books that I would recommend to you is it reminds me of a story when I was a when I was a young carpenter and I would, I was a I was a really wanting to get into it for the craft of it for the uh, there was a there was a a romance to the idea of build, being a carpenter of of handcrafting with wood and uh, and how it was a, it was a skill that would take years of working under a master carpenter in order to learn how to, to do uh, carpentry. And uh, I was working underneath, uh, underneath a, a, a master carpenter of the time there, and I was uh, looking for words of wisdom for him to share with me with regard to how, how do you learn the craft of it. And his response was, everything you need to learn about carpentry, you can learn from a sunset book. And uh, which was, uh, it was, it was kind of a, a slap down, a demeaning uh, thing there, uh, that, that you could learn everything in a thin little book on carpentry uh, found at the front of most hardware stores. This is a, a vintage copy. Um, uh, my opinion, it, not a whole lot in the world has changed uh, with regard to driving nails into lumber. Uh, but, uh, but, but, you know, uh, the more I thought about it, the more I contemplated, the more I, I started, I picked up a copy of the book and started looking at it, the more I realized that the basic fundamentals of carpentry are really simple and that a book like this will, will teach you the basic fundamentals. After, after you go through the fundamentals, it's generally a process of undertaking 10 different things that you didn't ever do before and you figure it out as you go through using the basic uh, basic ingredients of carpentry and before long you realize that there's nothing you can't tackle with regard to carpentry uh, no matter if you've done it or before because it's if you know the basics you can do basically anything so you you gain a real confidence with regard to carpentry um, after, after you've undertaken a few challenges and uh, sunset books makes tons of tons of copies here's one on basic masonry you can get one on basic plumbing you can get one on basic wiring and you can uh, just from these thin little books you can learn a lot of the hands-on trade with regard to constructing a home all right so once you've uh, you've gotten the books and you know all about wood and you know about how the primitive way of working with wood taught to you by Roy Underhill, and then you've learned all of the basic mechanics of, of carpentry and masonry and electrical work, but it's time to build your house. You want to know how to get started on the construction of your home. How do you, how do you locate your house and, and determine what kind of foundation you're going to put on it and excavate and pour the footers and the foundation? How do you get it started? Once you get up to that floor being framed out and everything else the rest of it just sort of goes methodically but trying to get through that initial process of getting the house ready and ready to go uh, I, I really highly recommend uh, this book in particular I, this is one I've had for many years and it's by Robert Roskin uh, owner from the owner builder center and I don't know if it's still around or not uh, but it's called simply building your own house and I've looked at a lot of these books like this, Be Your Own Contractor, Be Your Own Builder, 
and and for the most part they're awful um, and uh, I've, I've never really seen any that was practical that explained things and, and uh, gave you just the right amount of diagrams in order to really understand the process of, of beginning the construction of your home and actually I picked this one up not too long ago just because I wanted to make sure that these were still available and they are uh, and that is that if you um, this one's called before you build a pre-construction guide uh, and I, I've, I haven't really looked at it, but I looked through it, and I think it's, it's, it has a lot to offer as well as a lot to explain. So um, I, I can say that I recommend, I recommend both of them in order to, to help you get started on that home of yours. So to wrap things up, uh, make sure that you sign up for uh, my free newsletters over at handmadehouses.com where I'll give you the titles of all these books plus the, um, plus the, uh, the, the, the author of them. And uh, last week we went through the design, and this week we've gone through hands-on construction as far as learning the various trades and how to get started on the construction of our home. Next week I'm going to recommend to you the books that I recommend on log home construction. No, excuse me, we're going to do stone next. Uh, stones are and a critical ingredient in the construction of any style home, whether you want a stone home, a log cabin, a timber frame, or even a new modern stick built uh, home. Uh, I would like to thank five new members of the Handmade House Guild before we go. They are James Thompson, Tim and Cindy Montcastle, Chris Gilson, David Robertson, and Grace and Andrew Foot. Footy, Foot. Let's go leave it at that. Uh, thank you so much, guys, and I uh, apologize if I mispronounced anybody's name. If you're not already a member of the Handmade House Guild, basically it's close to 40 hours worth of video material while I step-by-step -step show you how to build your own handmade house. I hope that you'll consider signing up sometime. Anyway, you guys take care. We'll talk to you next week here on Handmade House TV. Bye now.